In this video, we're going to look at how we can build up a denominator so that it reaches a desired denominator, and what happens to the numerator along the way. Here we have 5a over the 3a squared b, and we want to build it up so that the denominator is 6a to the 5th b cubed. To build up a denominator, we need to multiply it by any factors that might be missing in that denominator. To go from 3 to 6, we're missing a factor of 2. With the a's, to go from a squared to a to the 5th, we need 3 more a factors, a cubed. Similarly, to go from b to b cubed, we need 2 more b factors, or b squared. Recall, with fractions, we want to make sure that when we multiply, we multiply by a 1 or the same thing on top and bottom so that it stays equivalent. So we'll also multiply by 2a cubed b squared in the numerator. When we multiply these together, 2 times 5 gives us 10. Adding the exponents on a using the product rule, 3 plus 1 is 4, a to the 4th b squared, over the denominator we wanted, 6a to the 5th b cubed. We have now built up this denominator to make it exactly what we wanted. We can follow much the same process of multiplying by missing factors with polynomials of many terms. The only catch with a problem like this, which is a little high, move it down a bit, is we want to, to multiply by missing factors, we need to know what factors we're dealing with. If we have x minus 2 over x plus 4 equals something over x squared plus 7x plus 12, we need to know what factors are in that x squared plus 7x plus 12, so we know what's missing. Using the AC method, we multiply to 12 and add to 7, which we can tell is 4 times 3, and 4 plus 3. Because there's a 1 in front of the x squared, we can factor this to x plus 4 and x plus 3. Now it's very clear what's missing from the other fraction. It already has the x plus 4, it's missing the x plus 3. And so that's what we will multiply the numerator and denominator by. Be sure we multiply the entire numerator, the entire x plus 2, which is going to require us to FOIL. x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, plus 3x, minus 6, over that desired denominator x plus 4 times x plus 3. We can finish simplifying that numerator by combining like terms, giving us x squared plus x minus 6, over the denominator we wanted x plus 4 times x plus 3. A common question is, why don't we multiply out the denominator? And the reason for that is we are currently setting up addition and subtraction of fractions. When we get to adding and subtracting of fractions, you will want the denominator factored, but the numerator multiplied out. And so to set this up, We'll establish the pattern now of always multiplying out the numerators, but keeping the denominators factored as we build up our denominators. We built up the denominator by identifying the factors in the denominator that we wanted, and multiply by any missing factors to build it up.